Hey guys, I'm Ivory and today I'm gonna to be doing a get ready with me and for the first time ever on this channel, I'm actually getting ready to leave the house. In all three years that I've had this channel, every time I've done a get ready with me, literally all I would do is film the look and then I would just wipe it off, but I'm actually leaving somewhere for the first time, so. I have no idea why I did that. So a lot of the times when I do these get ready with me's, I'll do more colorful, more bold looks just for, you know, YouTube. But this time you guys are actually gonna be able to see how I do my makeup when I am actually going somewhere. Like I am keeping this makeup on for hours. I'm not really gonna be talking about any of the products that I'm using because this is a get ready with me and I do actually wanna talk to you guys and this isn't really a tutorial. And secondly, I don't know what look I'm doing. When I sit down off camera, I just let my hands do whatever they want. I know it's gonna be pretty basic, pretty neutral, but as far as how glam or how little or how much, Mm. But if you're curious about the products that I'm using, I will list them in my description box below. So first off, where am I going? Today, the day that I'm filming is July 4th. So me and Steve are going to his friend's get together. I don't know his friend too well, but I do know that he's inviting at least some people that I know. So I will know people there. And that's really important for me. I am very envious about people who are able to come to a party and know no one and make friends. I unfortunately am not one of those people. I have to know someone and it can't just be the host. I'm not gonna be up the host's ass the entire time. There was this one time in high school where I was invited to a party. Everyone basically knew each other and I knew everyone the least. So by the time that I came, everyone had formed their cliques and was talking to someone. And I found it really hard to just walk into a conversation and start talking. And I got really uncomfortable and I left. I stayed there a total of five minutes. I came in, said hi, and then walked out the door. That's how uncomfortable I was. And this has happened a couple times actually. There are other times I can think of where I was invited to a party and I I actually stuck it out and I pretty much ended up talking to no one and making no new friends. But I'm pretty sure that there are people that we do know that are going to the party as well. I think he confirmed it. The next thing I wanted to tell you guys is that me and Steve, we are moving. We are hoping to put up this current house at the beginning of August and then we'll take it from there to see how long it takes to be sold. We already bought a second house, but it's new construction. So our new house is going to break ground August or September and then it won't be done till somewhere in between January to March, which really stresses me out because we don't know if me and Steve are going to rent an apartment and we don't want to rent it a lot longer than when the house is built because then you're paying for both rent and a mortgage. So there's just a lot of unknowns. Every person that I talk to about this, whether they're moving to a house that's already built or a new build, it's stressful because nothing happens for so long and then everything happens all at once. We're in the stages of taking pictures of this house and setting it up nicely so that people can come in and see the house. We haven't officially put up a price yet, but the whole process of it is just very daunting to us because this is our first home. This is the first house or the first big purchase me and Steve made together as husband and wife. For this, we were living in an apartment with Willow. So this is very new for us, but we definitely do have a plan about what we wanna do, how much we wanna sell the house for. I don't know what it's like in your area, but houses are selling really fast and they are ridiculously overpriced currently, which is kind of in our favor. It's a double-edged sword because we're probably gonna sell high or we're also buying really high as well. So there's that, but we're planning on selling high. And then if after a month our house is not selling, then we'll keep slashing the price because since our house is not going to be built until at least January, I'm not in a rush to move here. I am not looking forward to moving twice, once to an apartment and then to the actual house, or we could potentially live with Steve's parents. I don't wanna impose like that. So I think we're leaning towards an apartment. But before we move, I am hoping to do a house tour of this house uh, so that you guys can see it. And also it's just like a, a log for me so I can look back at that video at a point in my life where we lived in this house and I can like look at the, the video footage and being like, oh yeah, I remember this and that. But I wanna film it so that by the time the video goes out, I will have already moved. I don't know if I would ever do a house tour where I'm actually living in that house. I don't know. I mean, if people really wanted it, I guess I could do it, but I definitely don't have that plan in the works. On a completely different note, I am still working part-time. I know some people in the comments ask me how my job is going and it's fine. It's something that I'm quite familiar with. I will admit the thing that sucks about working at a nail salon is my thumbs. I already have issues with from the five and a half years that I did nails. I don't know if it's carpal tunnel or arthritis or what, but it hurts. And when I rotate it, I do feel discomfort so holding tools or massaging people is actually very uncomfortable for me so i kind of just grin and bear it but by the time i get home my hands 
hurt and also my lower back and this shoulder hurts all the time like I can feel the knot right now that is the one thing I am still applying to other jobs it's funny I was working on this one customer he said that if I apply to his company I can email him and let him know so that he can talk to the recruiter himself which I thought was super nice so that actually reminded me right now that I need to get on that and see if there are any job opportunities that would work for me funnily enough the way I got my first job when I was a software engineer was pretty much the exact same way that that guy offered to vouch for me. There was one customer that came in regularly and she knew that I was in college and I would talk to her. And then after I graduated, I still worked at the nail salon looking for jobs. And she's like, you know, Ivory, if you ever want to send me your resume, there might be something at my company. So I sent it to her. Sure enough, there was something and she was a great person. I did not leave my last job because of her because she was actually a great person to be around. But it was just really funny that that guy was willing to vouch for me because three years ago, pretty much the exact same thing happened. And that's how I got my first job. So we'll see where that that goes it may go nowhere but I definitely appreciate him sticking his neck out like that for me someone else asked me in my comments about my lash perm like how that's going I don't think they're permed at all anymore I think they from what I can see they look like they're back to normal so for anyone that wants a small update they lasted probably about three weeks and then most of them fell and then there were just a couple of stubborn ones that were still curled for the most part I would say three weeks and then I read that you shouldn't perm them too often like maybe every other month because your lashes could get brittle so that's why I waited but I also do enjoy putting on lashes every once in a while and the thing about having a lash perm is it's incredibly difficult to put on lashes it doesn't sit right or it's very difficult to apply the false lashes so i'm taking a mini break but the lash kit is actually it's right here one of these days i will do it again and i think the last video that comes out before this one was the self tanning one just an update on that one the palms are now completely back to normal you can see like the tan difference. And I feel like a lot of it has rubbed off on my face, but the rest of my body is still nicely bronzed and there's no patchy areas whatsoever. It's hard to tell whether or not my face is still tan just because my eyes have adjusted to it. It wasn't that big of a difference on my face, I feel like. So I don't actually know if my face is still tan. It might be, but I don't think it's very much. I think I'm just gonna do the look that I pretty much always do whenever I wanna look somewhat put together, but I also wanna make sure that this part goes extremely easy for me. It's always some type of neutral, smoky look pretty much foolproof for me because I do it all the time <laughs> while I'm here I might as well tell you while I'm here what other types of videos I'm planning on filming just a little sneak peek so if you don't watch this video then you won't know what videos are coming out so this is an inside exclusive right now hold on let me get up close because I don't know what my eyeshadow is doing exactly so this is not in order but these are all the videos that I'm planning on filming so one of them is a full face of elf makeup because I just recently bought their bronzers their setting powder and a lip from them so I now have a full face. I finally got my hands on the LYS foundation. I was waiting for my shade to come on Sephora and then I saw on the LYS Instagram page that they were having 20% off on Juneteenth. I don't know why I didn't think to actually shop there for my shade but they had my shade or at least what I think is my shade. They did have a shade match finder. I don't always have the best luck with those so we'll see how this goes but I bought a bunch of their stuff. So not only did I get their foundation, I got one of their blushes. I think I got a bronzer. I'm not totally sure and and I got a primer. So I'm definitely gonna do a wear test with the LYS foundation. As far as the other stuff, I'll probably do a first impressions. I'm not totally sure, but I kind of just wanted to buy it anyways. So I don't know if I'm gonna film with the rest of the stuff, but definitely a wear test at the very minimum. And then the next video is, actually I have it down here. Merit Beauty sent me a bunch of their makeup to try. So I got their blush. I got these weird sticks. I saw Tati use these and it's a little confusing. Oh, I could have tried this today actually. These are both a foundation and a concealer. This makeup is specifically for the girl on the go. So I got two shades of their foundation concealer sticks, tinted lip oil. Maybe I'll use that today. I got some mascara, a brow gel, and some blush. So I am planning on doing a full face of Merit Beauty, but I also wanted to do a dedicated video of just the foundation concealer sticks. So I'm most likely gonna use this as a foundation just because concealer, I'm very easy. There's a reason why I don't ever do concealer reviews because my under eyes are not very creasy and they're not very dark. So I am a very good candidate for concealer. They pretty much all work for me. So I think I'm gonna do two videos with the Merit Beauty. One being a full face of Merit and then the wear test of the foundation concealer sticks. So that's five videos already. And then I had a story time video. You know, after the success of my first story times video, it was a two part series of why my family decided to boycott my wedding. I had another story time in the works. It was how I found out that my boyfriend was cheating on me. When I was writing the story, it definitely brought up old feelings, not of ever being with him because I'm 100% over that. I got me a good man, but it's more so hurt feelings on my end 
end of thinking that I did everything for this person that I thought I was gonna be with forever and no matter what I did, I wasn't enough. When I was typing the story to make sure that I had all the dates and the facts correctly, or at least what I can recall, it just made me feel some type of way. It was draining to me. So I put it down and it was a couple months ago that I started writing down my story time and I wanna put that video out, but it's hard for me to open up that document and continue. So I do have that video that I wanna do, but like, when is it coming out? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I think I'm gonna keep my eyes all matte today. Usually I do a shimmer, but maybe I'll just do a wing instead. And speaking of the last story time that I did, after that video went out, uh, I did find out my side of the family, they did watch it. Not everybody, but a good amount. All the problematic people, I should say, watch the video. So I had a very interesting phone call the next day about it. And from then on, it's been nothing but silence. I have not spoken to anyone except uh, Aunt Connie. She is the only one that I still speak to and she hasn't watched the video but I did let her know that she is put in a pretty good light. I wouldn't have it any other way because she's the only normal one I would say out of my whole family. Like me and her still think very much alike and she's just such a nice person. I could never say anything bad about her honestly. So with the exception of Aunt Connie, I have no contact with pretty much anyone from my family. Not that I was having constant contact with them and this was what ceased all communication. I had pretty much no communication with them beforehand but I think them seeing the story made them finally get it and you know me and Steve have talked about this before but when I was living with my mom I would commute to Chicago from my suburb and Steve had a condo in the city so sometimes when I didn't want to commute I would just sleep at his place Steve noticed that in the middle of the night I would get either panic attacks or I would sleepwalk and it freaked him out because he was always worried that since he lived on the fifth floor that I would like jump off a balcony or something I don't know he thought I would sleepwalk and do that so it really Really scared him. Oh man, this one eye is much more wingy than this eye. Now I have to match it. <laughs> but ever since me and Steve moved out and have been on our own, I do not get those types of panic attacks anymore. So it's just like looking back, we don't know me living and being in that environment was the cause of my panic attacks. I mean, deep down, I think they know they, I know they are, but like the sleepwalking thing too. I never thought that my stress from being in that environment could be a cause of sleepwalking. And maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe it's very possible, maybe I do still sleepwalk and Steve just doesn't know it because he's a really heavy sleeper nowadays too. So I don't really know. I'm not really sure if I want to wear false lashes. I'm not the type of person who wears false lashes to an outing. I try to keep it pretty minimal. That's just who I am. You know what? I'm just going to do the mascara first and then we'll see if I need the false lashes. I personally don't think in real life, if you ever met me, that I'm an extra person. I find it hard to think that anyone would describe me as that, but that's just my opinion of myself. But looking at my past as well, I don't think I was ever an extra or a look at me type of person. I'm thinking in high school and I definitely wasn't popular, but I was friends with popular people. If you ever watched 21 or 22 Jump Street, I'm Jonah Hill, okay? And all my friends or my boyfriend would be Channing Tatum. People only knew me as like, this person that was always trailing Channing Tatum. But no one ever really knew my name or knew anything about me. And I, I definitely wouldn't say I was very popular. You know what? I am gonna do lashes today. How much time do I have? I have one minute to get ready. We're leaving at six. It is 5.59. And this is it. This is the final look. Super easy. I've only been filming for about 40 minutes. So if I wasn't talking, this would have taken me probably 15 to 25 minutes. But I'm pretty happy with the way this look came out. But that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below what other types of videos you would like to see from me. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I would love to see you come back. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.